Hello and welcome to episode 20 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orion. So this introduction is going to be real tough to get through and might be long-winded. I haven't scripted anything out. I just want you to listen to me. Don't skip this bit. Please don't skip this bit. It's been well documented in Youth Squad Legends when I struggle with my mental health. I, I kind of use this series to track how I'm doing, try and be positive. Other people don't have outlets like this or they want to deal with struggles in their life a bit differently. So let's talk about Sunday night. Been really busy with this series, so I've not really checked Facebook that much. Just before I went to sleep, I just had a quick scroll and I saw a lad that I went to college with, Sam Fisher, a big picture, and I thought that it was just a post from him. Um, double checked, it was actually a news article. He tragically passed away and he had his own mental health issues. Now from the outside looking in, he was this bright, bubbly person. It was gut punching. It was a shock to the system. You know what, whilst reading it, it kind of sorted me out because I had been struggling with things and then I read about Sam and all of a sudden it's like, you've got nothing to be sad about, Curtis. I'm not the only one that's gonna have tunnel vision. You're gonna concentrate so much on your career, making money, having a life for yourself. And these people who have impacted your life, like Sam did at college with me, you do lose touch and it brings it all back down to earth and you just feel all a little bit helpless in it. I wish they'd messaged me. I wish that we could have done something. We can do something. I contacted Sam's parents and with their blessing, I wanted to share this story with you and also his GoFundMe page so he can have a send off that he deserves. We've all had our issues some more than others. Some people have been saved by this series. I feel grateful. I feel grateful that I've helped so many people. It would make me so happy if you could just help this family. 29 is no age to lose your life. And if you are suffering, talk to people. I have my own support bubble and I try and support others around me. My mods in my Discord server. You can join my Discord server as well if you want to talk about it. People are going to talk to you. People are going to help you. I know this community is going to give Sam's family and his close friends something very special. I don't say it enough. Like, you guys are wonderful and you help me. I know that I help you through troubling times. You help me as well. Let's go chip into Sam's GoFundMe. Uh, I need 10 minutes to sort myself out and then we'll get on with the games. Thank you very much. We have tired legs and Ronnie Forrest cannot play. Cleves and Zungu sent a bike sounds like a disaster. We tweet the sliders. This episode's dedicated to Sam. Barrow against Leighton Orient. Just trying to find the right balance. Need it a bit tougher. That's a loose touch that Cleves will latch onto. And then another loose touch by Thompson. Gives the ball back to Barrow. And Zungu gets shoved off it. Bro, you're massive. You shouldn't be shoved off like that. I don't know how good I'm going to be at commentary, guys. Here's Fraser. Oi, Bobby Monk. Trying to put his head in where it hurts. Bobby. Bobby Monk. Bobby. Bobby Monk. One, Timbo. What a save. And again. Oh, it's a double one. And Dadashov will get it out. More Barrow pressure. Oh, it's a grass cutter. Oh, it's going to be another one. Zungu. Lifting his legs so slow. Proctor's come on for Zungu after a disastrous 20 minutes. It might not guarantee a draw or a win, but it's the only chance that we've got, I think. Even though it might make Proctor tired for the next game. Slide tackle. These guys have got to stop dropping back. I hate it. The whole idea is when one goes, they all go. Step up. Oh, what is the point of a tactic? If you don't do it, it's a lofted through ball. It's Bobby Monk who cushions it on his head. Puts a shot towards goal, but the keeper is a match. 100 in depth, which actually means that the line is very high. Proctor wants a piece of it. Oh, I love that ball. It's unlucky. The Thompson first touch was just not good enough. Bobby Monk. Oh, he's way better with his head than his feet. He's all right with his feet, to be fair. Shows you how good he is with his head. That does seem to be a little bit better. If only we could stop making silly mistakes. Campbell cost us the third goal. It's taken the game away from us. We're having a really bad end to the season here. Half time, things need to change. What have we got from the bench? Sabali up front. It's got to be Nantanina to partner Thompson. Second half. Lemon is onside. Where is Bobby Monk? 
Nowhere to be seen. Get Bobby Monk into the box. I don't care for midfielders trying to head the ball. Sabali, yes. Back heel, Thompson. Well played, lads. Way better second half. There could be something in this. Too much damage seems to have been caused. Squad Thompson. He could be scoring another. Yes. Oh, standing tackle. Bobby Monk. No. Oh, you're joking. I love a bit of Bobby Monk me, but today he's just not delivered. It was so close. And you got your full-time score there of Barrow 4, Leighton Orient 2. I've learned a lot from that second half. This is one of the defeats that you want to have because we've learned a lesson. Leighton Orient against Rochdale. Romeo Nantanina through the gap there to Bruno Sosa and back because we have space in the midfield here. Henry Yomba. Oh, what a ball. Yomba is so silky. He's more than an old cannon leg. They spent about four minutes there holding it in the corner. This is so much better. Why did I not try this earlier? It stops the players being stupidly deep. Oi. Nice play by Hassan. Let's not mess about anymore, though. Yomba. Oh, yes. Knocks it on. Jean-Paul Sabali passes the sliding tackle. Little fake shot. We'll do it again for good measure. Oh, I'm trying too much. Offside. That's the higher line of engagement. One yard into our own half and he's flagged offside. What a shocking touch by Nantanina. I don't want to worry you too much. It might just be a, a break in his excellent performances. But it's come right at the time that Nantanina changes squad number to 99. Chest control, Sabali. Go on. Into the box. Yumba! Didn't need to put that much power onto it. Nantanino! Oh! Feel more in control of the defense. That's what was missing. Control. It creates calmness. Half time. Nil nil. Back to the keeper. Through the hole. Through the gap. Oh, we are playing with fire here. Sampras. You think I'm going to go wide instead? We'll go straight to Bobby Monk. Let's have it. A rifle into the top corner. Yomba makes the standing tackle. We're looking a bit patchy, a bit worse for wear at the end of the game. They're playing it across. You're joking. Stop playing it across, man. Ah! We've got a free kick. Come on, Bobby Monk. Come on, Bobby Monk. Oh, Nantanino. He had to head it instead of taking a shot on himself. Is Bobby Monk on side? No. And that's a lot. We've wasted a golden opportunity there. Mentality slipped, hasn't it? But there are building blocks. I am way more comfortable with what we're playing with right now. 89th minute equalizer. We'll go through all the range of emotions. We'll have a loss. We'll have a draw. This next one's going to be a win. And it's away from home against second place Accrington Stanley. Come on, lads. Thompson. Great ball. Here goes Henry Yomba. Cannon leg! Yeah! Tembo rushing out. He'll meet the ball. How brave. Saving the goalkeeper wasn't saving that banger anytime soon. Offside. Yeah! And it's a chip up. Yomba's going again. Oh! <laughs> what a player! Come on then! Nantanine has picked up some kind of injury. Clever by Sam Lewis. And Antonino, even though he is struggling, he's chipped it up. Onto Jean-Paul Sabali. And now Thompson! 3 0 Leighton Orient. Great play all around. Accrington Stanley seems shell shot. We're going to have a buzzing 15 minutes in the dressing room. Oh, what a touch. Hands up. Hands up. Take that one in, guys. That is genuinely sensational. I think our defense has improved a ton just over the course of this episode, but there's nothing stopping how good that was technically. Clip it back in. Oh, oh Bobby Monk scored an overhead kick. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal. Bobby Monk. I didn't know he was agile enough. That is solid. So Bally's looking into the box. Bobby Monk is onside, but can we get... The delivery right, Nantanina, keep on your feet. That's full time, Accrington, Stanley one, Leighton Orient four. I'm not gonna push myself to do a fourth game. It's been a very emotional few days. What I will do is a squad report for the first time in ages. The stats are down near the skill moves and weak foot to the bottom right. And we'll start with Tembo at 59, 
overall. Yuan Tang, 56. Hassan is 64 with 77 pace and 76 physicals. I like the greens. Omar Dadashov, 56. And Gonzalo Avia, 44. Sam Lewis, 63 overall. Luis Proctor, 61, 72 pace. That's probably why he is so good. Scott Cleves, 46 overall. Zungu, 50 overall. Courtney Scott with the 85 physicals, 66 overall. That is crazy. 85 jumping, 87 aggression. Now you know why he's at the front post for us on corners. Samuel Peppel, 53 overall. Colin Campbell, 60 overall. Also got good physical and pace attributes. Ronnie Forrest, 59 overall with his 5-star, five 5-star, five and the skill moves are weak for it. Romeo Nantanina is 56 overall, with Sampras at 58 overall. Lucas Thompson, 53 overall. Lozano has a decent amount of pace, so even though he's injured, I don't think he'll lose that step. Jesse Fraser, 63 overall, has a trait. Playmaker, but that's only for the CPU. Henry Yomba, 63. He has a trait, really. Cannon leg. Dribbling at 71. Bruno Sosa, 67. With 72 passing. Maybe, maybe we should consider putting back in centre mid. Tommy Lemon, 54 overall. Jean-Paul Sabali, 60 overall with his 74 pace. Amit Panda, 76 pace. Panda's actually quicker than Sabali. 65 overall there. Bobby Monk. Oh, yes. What's his heading like? Not that much, you know. Jumping, 68. Heading accuracy, 65 on the 62 overall striker. And Chinedu Hogan, 52 overall. I am very relieved that this episode is over. It's not for the games or anything. I had great fun there. And we have tweaked the sliders just about right. So it's that level of competitiveness. It's a challenge, but it is achievable. Game promoted this season. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Please go and help out Sam's GoFundMe page. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. It's been a tough one, but in the end, this is going to be worth it. Please do everything that you can to help out Youth Squad Legends, whether that be sharing with your friends or watching it for a second time, a third time. It all helps in the end. These guys on the right-hand side are legends, and there's more names being added. Last episode, we saw an influx. I can't thank you enough. We do have uncertain times here, but your love and support is a constant. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.